Phaedra Parks may have left the Real Housewives of Atlanta series a few years back, but the Southern Belle definitely hasn't left the spotlight. Aside from some other gigs in the TV industry, she also continues to stay busy as an entertainment lawyer with her private firm in Atlanta, The Parks Group. These days, Phaedra is living with her sons in her beautiful Buckhead Atlanta mansion she purchased back in 2016, which spans 10,000 square feet and has all the luxury amenities you could imagine. Today we'll take a look at the famous attorney's current home as as well as a couple of her former Georgia properties. Phaedra Parks is best known as a TV personality who's also an entertainment attorney. She was undoubtedly one of the most memorable cast members on The Real Housewives of Atlanta despite leaving the series after season 9 thanks to her hilarious one-liners and quick comebacks. Phaedra appeared on the Bravo series since 2010 and was a huge part of it for six seasons, but after a feud with co-star Candy Burroughs, well, basically stuff hit the fan and she wasn't able to return for the following seasons. While fans may want Phaedra back on the show, no doubt, she's continued to stay busy with her private law firm based in Atlanta, The Parks Group. Even before becoming a household name on Real Housewives, she was dealing court cases for a number of clients, most of which were in the entertainment industry, like Bobby Brown and Jermaine Dupri. Phaedra has also dabbled with other reality gigs, modeling work, and got involved in the health and beauty industry, launching a line of hygiene products called My Healthy Peach. Whatever she's doing, her success has a master an estimated net worth of at least $6 million if not more, and Phaedra currently lives in a gorgeous mansion with her two sons. Located in the Buckhead neighborhood of Atlanta, her property is in the most upscale and exclusive area around, also only a few miles from where two of her former co-stars, Kenya Moore and Sheree Whitfield live. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I've been noticing a lot of copycat channels recently, but we're the original source for celebrity house tours, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and show your support. We post a new video daily. Today we're going to take a look at former Real Housewives of Atlanta star and entertainment lawyer Phaedra Parks and where she calls home. This includes her current mansion in Buckhead and two of her former properties. If you like this video, be sure to check out our recent house tours on Sheree Whitfield and Kim Zolchak, which we'll link to at the end. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. Back in 2015, it was reported that Phaedra unloaded one of her homes in Georgia, this estate being more modest than her others. Located in the heart of Smyrna, which is slightly northwest of Atlanta, Phaedra's former home was just across the street from Taylor Bronner Park, and it's reported she purchased the place way back in 2001 for 322 k However, the reality star at least was able to cash out a bit on the modest home when she ended up selling it for about $350,000. The five bedroom, five bathroom home spanned just over 4,000 square feet of space and included features like a finished basement with full kitchen, bedroom, bath, and even a private entry that would be perfect for guests or staff to stay. When the property was on the market, you can tell that it was kept in excellent condition, and according to listing materials, there was new paint, a renovated kitchen, and more. Phaedra's former house had an open floor plan in many of the rooms and what looks like a large family room with double height ceilings and a ton of windows. This space had carpets at the time, as well as built-in shelves and a fireplace, while some other rooms in the home featured hardwood floors. There was a large formal entryway with sweeping staircase when you walked in, and the main kitchen had been modernized as well with new appliances, a center island, and more. Moving outside of Phaedra's former property, there was a great back deck for entertaining, and the whole yard was fenced in for privacy. It was also close to the shops, the market village, and downtown. For those Real Housewives of Atlanta fans, you may remember Phaedra Phaedra's much more lavish home they showcased on season 9 of the series, which was her beautiful French provincial style mansion. Located in the Chastain Park neighborhood, which is like a small posh town within the already exclusive Buckhead area of Atlanta, Phaedra owned this estate she bought for $845k back in 2013. While she let go of the home in 2018 for about 100k more, she already had her current mansion, also located in Buckhead, so she wasn't going to be homeless or anything. This home had a classic white exterior, was originally built in 1988, upgraded since, and sat on two thirds of an acre of land. Moving inside, the home was fit for a southern belle like Phaedra, 4,453 square feet of space, and a dramatic entryway with ornate chandelier and staircase. 
There were four beds and six baths throughout along with an impressive floor plan including a wood paneled library with fireplace and a fully stocked chef's kitchen with add-ons like a wine fridge and plenty of space for coffee. Right next to this space was the double height great room with windows from floor to ceiling and elsewhere there was a family room with French doors out to the yard. Here there was also a fireplace and TV. Phaedra's former master suite was on the main level of the home and it included private access to the pool among other luxuries. The three other ensuite bedrooms were located upstairs while outside the property boasted a landscaped yard, pool and spa and a covered patio which was great for entertaining. I think the pool area was my favorite part of this home. Regardless of how beautiful the place is, it did take a while to sell. After a few months on the market, Phaedra had to lower the asking price to $1.2 million, then discounting it again and once again to the under a million dollar price tag it finally sold for. A few months before Phaedra was done with The Real Housewives in October 2016, she purchased an even bigger Buckhead mansion where she still lives to this day and it's twice the size of this spot. So let's take a look. At the end of 2016, Phaedra purchased her current house for $1.9 million, also located in the upscale neighborhood of Buckhead in Atlanta where many wealthy and successful individuals reside and her property sits on the border of Atlanta and Sandy Springs. In fact, Phaedra's sprawling two acre property is only a few miles away from a few of her former Real Housewives co-stars mansion. Considering she has carried out a ton of renovations since moving in, it's estimated now the mansion would be worth a lot more, maybe even around $3 million. Inside her home spans almost 10,000 square feet with 6 beds, 10 baths and a ton of outdoor space. The gated home is bright inside and when Phaedra bought it, it was decorated by the former owners in a really traditional style, but considering the size of the place, there was still an open floor plan. There are huge common spaces throughout with views out to the beautiful grounds and to the pool. There's a sprawling living room that Phaedra fitted with a piano in one corner, as well as beamed ceilings, plush couches, and a fireplace. Her French country manor has three levels, and elsewhere there's a lower level lounge space perfect for guests, with a full bar, TV area, fireplace, and doors out to the pool. Phaedra's kitchen is massive, featuring beamed ceilings, chandeliers, new appliances, bar style seating and a larger table to eat at. Her kitchen is so fancy, it's actually decked out in Versace wallpaper. Other features of her mansion include not one but two master suites and of course room for her beautiful and fully stocked walk-in closet, a total of four fireplaces throughout and a four car garage. If that's not enough, there's a separate and large guest house spanning 2,500 square feet and it was built in 2000. This space boasts an office level, two beds, two baths, a kitchen, a keeping room and even an elevator, perfect for staff or family to stay at. Just this past Christmas, we've even seen how Phaedra decorated for the Christmas holidays when she invited cameras inside her mansion to show the fancy results. She had a celebrity interior designer come in and deck the halls and the place looked absolutely perfect. Finally, outdoor spaces at Phaedra's mansion are equally amazing, full of manicured lawns, courtyards and a gazebo with balconies off of the home overlooking it all. Of course, we can also see the luxury pool that is no doubt great for summer. So now we've taken a look at the homes of former Real Atlanta housewife Phaedra Parks, including her current Buckhead Mansion. We also checked out two of her former places, one modest house from a few years back and the more recent French provincial style home that we've seen on the series before. After checking out her homes, what did you guys think? Did you like her design taste? I think she took the traditional and slightly outdated interiors at her current home and renovated them to perfection. I love the multi-level living spaces, especially the lower level family room with bar and of course the gorgeous pool out back. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Phaedra's homes in the comments down below. If you haven't, I would love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel and show your support. I'll link you my latest video. Today I'm just going to tell you a bit about who's buried there, why it's such a popular and timeless Hollywood cemetery, and even how much it costs if you want to get buried there. So maybe one reason I like cemeteries so much is also because I watch so much Buffy. I even recently got a Buffy tattoo. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.